Hi Solar Community. Um, I recently made a video uh, for the German uh, audience regarding the maximum PV input current of the Grover SPF 5000 ES. Um, I thought this is also maybe helpful for others out there um, from the international community. So um, that's why I make this video right now. What we want to figure out in this video is um, the maximum PV input current of the Growert SPF 5000 ES. So the question came came to me or, or reached me from a member of a forum uh, asking me, hey, um, wh why why is Growart providing two different kind of numbers of the maximum PV input current? So there's one, and let me show you. There's one which is here on the side and says or states 18 amperes, yeah? And there's the manual, at least in the version 4.0, which is uh, which was shipped with my inverters, which says 22 amperes max PV input current. So, which of those numbers is the right one? I cannot tell you exactly which is the right one, but uh, what I um, from my investigations. Um, Grovat made some changes in later firmware versions um, to these kind of devices um, where they um, increase the maximum PV input current which, uh, which the SPF 5000 ES can handle. So, um, for what is this important? Yeah, for maybe most of the users this, uh, this number is maybe not that important. Um, because usually you connect one string to one inverter and um, most of the uh, PV uh, 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 units provide uh, um, input uh, a current uh, under full full load maybe 13 amperes or so so this is far below what the Growart can handle and the uh, internal MPPT can handle so but, and there is a big but, and this is what most people uh, not know, even if those inverters have only one uh, PV input, yeah, uh, it doesn't mean that there's only one string supported by this device. What does it mean? So, there is one word, uh, or a buzzword, which somehow is called overpaneling. Most of the inverters and the hybrid inverters you can buy out there at the moment are not really capable of this. But these Growbot can can do this. So you can overpanel a Growbot. What does it mean? Let's say this inverter can handle five um, five thousand watts from um, PV input. Yeah, I can right now double double the um, double the string on one inverter so this is what I have exactly in this setup at the moment here this in on this inverter I have two strings connected to one PV input and on this one there's only one string connected um, this inverter can handle like we said before 5000 watts um, it can it can uh, handle more because uh, you can see max PV input power is six thousand years. But let's say we are five thousand because it's the five thousand years. It's easier. So I connected one string with four kilowatt peak to this inverter, and I connected another string with four kilowatt peak to the same input. The um, uh, yeah, there are some things you have to uh, really be careful with and um, please don't do this if you don't know what you're doing. Um, you should really go to your solar uh, uh, electrician and he should give you some advice how to do that. But I can tell you, if you uh, take care of everything, um, these inverters can handle much more than the 5,000 years or 6,000, uh, 5,000 watts or 6,000 watts they are rated for in the manual. So, um, okay, come back to the, to my example. 
On this inverter, I have at the moment eight kilowatt peak of PV input connected. So there are two strings with four kilowatt peak. One string has um, 11 or um, 11 or yeah, 11 uh, amperes or 12, um, 12 amperes. Yeah. So what does it mean? Under full power, this inverter or the PV which is connected to this inverter will produce more than 22 amperes which is not a big deal for the inverter because this number here inside this 22 amperes or the 18 amperes which is stated on the label on the side only only um, give you an idea what the inverter can handle what which does not mean that you can can connect much more to it yeah some people would say yeah why should i uh, connect more <clears throat> pv input or why should i connect uh, 8000 watts of pv input to a 5000 watt inverter this doesn't make sense at all no i can tell you it's not the case because the inverters handle higher amperes or higher currents much more better than um, if you have lower currents. So the MPPT has a has a kind of let's say a sweet point where the where it's working under the best uh, in best circumstances. And in summertime. I can tell you, I don't care if I have four kilowatt peak or eight kilowatt peak connected to it. And if the inverter only takes 5,000 watts out of this 8,000 watts coming from the roof. Yeah, <clears throat> because in summertime, there is so much power here. Um, I don't care at all. But so this is the, the drawback. Yeah, you lose a little bit of PV power, especially in the summer times or in the in a high in the peak times of your PV um, where you when most of you don't need it yeah but the big advantage of this is that the inverter and the MPPT is is working much more better especially in uh, in the morning or in the evening in winter times or on days where where there's no no sun at all and only cloudy and, and diffuse lights coming to the PV. Yeah? So this inverter here with the two uh, uh, strings connected is working much, much better and more stable. You can see it uh, on, on the display than that one. So what happens this one with the one string? What happens in winter? This with the one string is really starting to ah there's light it's it's starting to increase from the MPPT range and then there's a point where the current drops uh, or decreases instantly or suddenly because the PV could not handle this anymore and it goes off and at this point the MPPT stops and starts the whole whole procedure again so you have to somehow somehow um Imagine this as a curve. Yeah, it starts. Okay, PV, 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 PV. I'm going up with my current and then there's a point where the current could not be uh, provided by the PV uh, modules on the roof and then it drops in and it starts again like this and it's doing this all over the time. Yeah, especially in morning or on, on cloudy days. Yeah, this one here is really doing it like that. And it holds it, it holds it, it holds it, it holds it, it holds it. And um, this is a, a huge difference. And um, I just, or I will this year also double the, double the, um, double the uh, strings on the other inverter. So I have on both inverters two strings because I see a clearly difference, especially in winter where you need the power much more than you need in, in the summertime. So... Can it handle really 22 amperes? Can it handle the 18 amperes which is stated on the on the label? I don't know. I didn't measure it. I didn't measure it. Um, but Crowat says it, so um, I assume that uh, somehow they are not lying, especially in their in their manual, that these units can handle up to 22 amperes. Under which um, circumstances it can, I don't know exactly, but. Um, you should 
you should, of course, install one of the latest firmwares where this feature with the 22 amperes is really available um, because the standard the standard firmware, especially on the on the 06 versions, um, which you can check here on the display, on the 06 version of these uh, firmwares, um, is or the standard shipping firmware was 067 01 1.04 and uh, 068 01 1.04 and um, I think this is the standard firmware which has some flaws and bugs inside um, I think this one could not handle the 22 amperes maybe sticking more with the 18 amperes but um, there are later ones like that one here which also um, solves the issue with the with the fans uh, on these uh, uh, version 2 devices um, should be capable of the 22 amperes so <clears throat> I hope this helps you um, so um, one one review of what I said the inverter could go up like the, to these numbers I never tried it out really but um, I assume they can you can over panel the grow watts. You have to make special measures and security uh, um, circuits done. Ask your uh, electrician for that. They will help you and they will give you advice. But um, yeah, this is all what I can say about this grow watt SPF 5000. Yes, hope it helps. Uh, if you if you want to know more, if you have some some statements please post it below and uh, i'm happy if you give me a uh, subscribe in youtube so thank you very much and uh, see you